Perhaps you've heard horror stories from friends or family members about defects discovered after closing that left the buyer stuck with thousands of dollars in repairs. Or maybe you or someone you know lost their home to foreclosure caused by the subprime lending fiasco that triggered our 2008 recession. While many things in life are out of our control, when something goes wrong in real estate, it's usually because the buyer or seller did not get or take advice that was in their best interest. So what do you deserve from the real estate agent who represents you when you buy or sell your home? According to a Gallup survey from 2018, nurses ranked the highest among all U.S. professions in terms of honesty and ethical standards. 84% of respondents ranked them with a high trust level. Doctors, pharmacists, and high school teachers ranked above 60%. At the other end of the scale, members of Congress and car salespeople came in at just 8%. Lawyers ranked 19%, business executives 18%, and only 25% of those surveyed ranked real estate agents highly in terms of honesty and ethics. Many people distrust real estate agents. This probably stems from the hard sell, always be closing approach used by agents who put their immediate income needs above the interests of their clients. This old school approach was exemplified in the 1992 film Glen Gary Glen Ross about a group of desperate salesmen fighting over leads. Because only one thing counts in this life. Get them to sign on the line which is dotted. Granted, it can be tough to make a living selling real estate. Agents only get paid when the sale closes. Sometimes transactions fail after weeks of work. And sometimes clients change their mind and decide to work with another agent. We are all small business operators without company benefits like a regular paycheck, insurance, vacation days, or sick pay. For some agents, the survival response is get it while you can, closing one deal as quickly as possible and moving on to the next without looking back. For others, those of us in the 25% category, it's not just about one commission check, it's about the relationship building trust over the long term, taking great care of our clients who then go on to honor us with repeat business and referrals. And I believe this is how most real estate agents actually operate these days. It's certainly been my experience working in our community over the past 13 years. Most agents are realtors. This means we pay an association fee and agree to follow a strict code of ethics. This code puts clients first. The state of Oregon regulates real estate practices too, investigating and leveling penalties against agents who break the rules. So how does an ethical real estate agent operate? First, they put your interests above their own. They understand your needs and motivations. They inform and educate you about buying and selling property. They help you investigate potential risk. They help you research issues and remedies. They empower you to make decisions in your best interest and feel confident about your purchase or sale. And if you determine that a transaction is not in your best interest, they help you terminate that transaction without penalty. So choose wisely. Get recommendations from your friends. Ask them what they liked and what they didn't like about their experience. Read reviews of your agent on Google and Zillow and Realtor.com and interview them for the job of representing you. And go with your gut when it comes to choosing the person who's gonna represent you in the purchase or sale of your home. For most of us, it is the single biggest financial commitment of our lives. And one more thing, remember that your realtor is in charge of the process of the real estate transaction, but you are in charge of every decision along the way. I hope you found this information useful, and if so, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I wish you the best with your real estate transaction, and if you need assistance buying or selling your home, please get in touch. You can always count on me to put your interests first.